Hey there, cool cats. Hey, today, let's talk about this new combat AI that was launched. And you know, I know many of you have uh, have really delved into it and, uh, and are getting the hang of it. Um, it. It's not very intuitive at first. And so for any of you there that are struggling with it and wondering how the heck do I get this thing to work, uh, let's go over some of the details. Now, you're probably most likely to see the combat AI up here, okay, in this top section by the jewelry. And there you certainly can select the combat AI that you want to work with. However, what you wanna do is start over here in the research section. They added the combat AI as an option to the research. And so if I click on that, now this is where you then would actually work more fully on unlocking and upgrading your combat AI bots, okay? Now the combat AI, uh, does a couple major things. Um, one is it's going to provide a skill, okay, that uh, that obviously does something. And it'll also, down here, you can see it increases your leadership. So we've been kind of stuck at the 1.6 mil max leadership since uh, Bridge 22 came out a while back. And now we do have an opportunity to boost our leadership, all right? Now let's take a look at some of these these different ones out here, right? So let's start with on the other end, the AI-1. You can see the skill is strong shield. All allied troops in the first row gain a shield, which can absorb damage equal to 0.5% of the target's max HP for one round. Now every level it goes up, that 0.5% will increase. So if it increases by 0.5% at a time, then uh, obviously at level 10, it's at 5%. Uh, level 20, it's at 10%, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, okay? Now, uh, that obviously looks like uh, kind of a version of Hancock's shield, but it can be triggered multiple times, but it's only the front row, so it's just a little bit different there. Counter-Striker 3, I have no idea what happened to 1 and 2, but we are on Counter-Striker 3, Sharp Edge. Now, this looks very much like Hubarian's skill, put all of our troops in the rebound state, not just one, but all of our troops in the rebound state. And the next time they receive attack damage, deal 0.2% of the received damage to the enemy, not to exceed 1,000% of the attack. So that's a real good uh, uh, attack one. Um, maybe like a Stella or, or somebody that, uh, that can rebound attacks over to it. Um, emerge stronger. All of our troops' attack and accuracy increase by 0.6% until the end of the battle. This is very much like Thunder Ray or Galileo, those ramp commanders. So, you know, if you were kind of interested in a ramp up style, um, but your main commander uh, has main skills that aren't really that way, so you wanted to kind of merge them together, this is a great way of adding that in. And again, it will not be cleared. So every time this triggers, it will ramp up your attack and accuracy. Pioneer, all of our troops gain one AI mark. Each mark increases attack damage 0.3% per level. After taking action, two marks will be consumed, but immediately receive six marks when the battle begins. This is uh, a lot like the magician, the magic by magic skill. Um, that can now be used with, with any comm, not just uh, the those airships. Now, the Celebrity Star, which you can see I've got unlocked, uses Gust of Thunder. Gives all enemies five AI marks. Each mark increases the damage they receive by 0.8% and decreases their dodge by 0.8% for one round. Receive energy every time a commander skill or plug-in skill is triggered. The more energy you have, the more marks the feature skill will add. Now, wasn't able to find a commander that exactly matched this one. It was kind of an amalgamation of, of several out there. Okay. Now, all right. Let's let's talk about some more of these things, right? So, these oops, doo -doo -doo, core chips. These are required to unlock. Obviously, you can see it takes a hundred core chips to unlock them. Everybody should have uh, uh, from an event recently after they launched this been given the hundred so you can unlock one of them. Okay, and then you gain them through events ongoing there. But that take that hundred of them unlocks it, and then you use them to upgrade the level after you've reached the end of the development bar. So as you develop it, you get to the top, the, the maximum is, and the maximum increases every level. 
then you can level it up with um, some of those core chips, okay? So let's look at some of the development here. If I click this, it'll bring you into here where you use food, parts, electricity, gas, and cash, as well as these uh, document deltas, they're called. Uh, the document deltas over here add 10 to this list, whereas every time you hit any of the resources, it only adds one, okay? So now if I go here, it goes 20K to 80K, well, 320, 1.2, oops, I gotta use some boxes, let's get that, 2.5 and four. Now four is the maximum, okay? Now, it doesn't actually stop you from upgrading any further like the, uh, the guild development does, but if you wanna continue to develop your combat AI every day past the maximum, you're gonna be paying the maximum on each click, okay? So to be most efficient, you would uh, click up to the four million and then stop every single day unless you got a bunch of resources to burn, in which case just you know go after it there. Um, but yeah, so here I can do this one too. And let's, I should have done this before starting to record, I know. Don't judge me. <laughs> All right, that's it. Get this one up to four. I got a bunch of electricity, so I don't mind going through that. Gas. Oh, let's use some 10 mils. Now the cash, uh, just like normal where cash is usually half, does stop at two million. So the, the levels are half of what the other ones are, which makes sense the way you, know, you, you farm cash at half the rate of the other resources there. Okay, so now you can see I got up to 84. Uh, as you develop, 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 the tech level will also increase. Now, the higher the tech level, um, that will help to increase the feature AI skill or the, the feature skill that you have, as well as weaken the enemy skill. So, you know, it's, it's a real big balancing match between your levels, but not just your levels to another player's levels, uh, of the skill, because you could theoretically end up where you're both up at high levels or you're maxed out, and, and then what's a max versus a max? How does that work there? Well, these tech levels will play the deciding factor. So if all things are equal, a higher tech level, it's like a suppression or, or uh, like a weakening effect to the enemy while strengthening your effect. So it's a little bit of, I guess, kind of sweet uh, uh, application in that. Okay, now again, let me let me do some electricity here. Let's see if I can't get this up past maximum. Do, do, do. Ah. Let me just cut it here. shit ton. <laughs> All right. Come on. Do, 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 do. All right. Once you get to the maximum, it says full development is complete. And I need, oh shoot, I need 10 core chips. And I think I only have six. Yep. <laughs> In order to upgrade to level 10, uh, and that would also boost my leadership from the 0.9% boost up another 0.1% to 1% in total boost. So I need to pick up some more core chips. Um, one thing you'll also see though is my Gust of Thunder is at level eight and my AI bot is at level nine. I can click this upgrade here. I have 8,460 of these. These are the feature chips. And if I click 550 here, it will upgrade me to level nine. And so that, as you saw, increased 
the effect of the skill here, as well as it increased my tech as well, okay? Now, if you upgrade a bit on all of this here and you're like, well, pff, you know, I wanna try one of these other guys over here, you can click the refresh button, but keep in mind that as you increase your level um, and then you try to refresh, at, there's a diminishing return the higher up you go there as far as the uh, uh, comp, the the core chips and feature chips and the document uh, deltas that you get back there. Uh, I don't believe you get any of the resources back that you've inputted into it there. So just be really careful. If you're choosing a reset, don't do it on a whim. Know exactly what it is you plan on doing and then, and then make the change, okay? Now, in addition, we've got, like I said, the tech here. If I were to hit the little plus, you can see that I could use bots if I wanted to, okay? Now, if I use this Vintage Machine 1, boom, it pops me up from 100 to 101. Vintage to Machine 2, it just gave me three to get me up to 104, okay? So uh, some added way to boost your tech if you wanna burn through some of your bots in order to do it, okay? Um, anyways, I, that's about it as far as what I've come across there. Now, uh, just don't forget to come back up here and equip your bot on your commander of choice there. All right, guys, that has been uh, all about the combat AI that I have found there. I will catch you on the next one.